St. Thomas held that it was wrong to separate the soul and the body, the great mistake that Plato had made. For St. Thomas, body and soul are one. And this, of course, is why so many Renaissance painters used their mistresses as models for the Virgin. You could think of Molly Bloom in Joyce's Ulysses as a part of that developing tradition, modelled as she was on Joyce's sexual partner, Nora Barnacle. I think that Joyce, like Yeats, was at the height of his powers when he suddenly begins to speak in a female voice. This is at the end of Ulysses, when he knows the book is achieved. And he relaxed the censors on his feminine dimension and the outpourings of Molly are the result. And they are like those of Yeats's Jane, somewhat obscene, somewhat challenging. In fact, Molly knows it. She says, oh, Jamesy, let me out of here. She's just like Jane. She can invert the roles of sacred and profane. She who believes that there should be women priests plays the male role because she passes seed cake into Leopold's mouth like the communion wafer given by the priest at mass. Effectively, um, Molly is inseminating her partner. And Molly, like Jane, has lost count of former lovers, but she has chosen Leopold for his feminine dimension, she says, because I saw he understood or felt what a woman is. Not how to handle a woman, but what she actually is in her inmost nature. And we see this all through the book. At the very beginning, Bloom is preparing his wife's breakfast, which is okay now for a swinging contemporary husband, but in the Dublin of 1904, according to my father, was an act tantamount to perversion. But it continues all through. Bloom wants to be pregnant. He wants to be a woman. He impersonates women as he walks down the street. And Molly is the equivalent. She, she wants to have a penis. She wants to mount, mount a man's thighs. She wants at many moments to be a man. So this is what makes them married, I think, in the depths of the imagination. And it's why, in the end, the word yes is his word as well as hers. The final passage, though obviously spoken by Molly Bloom, is, I think, voiced also by Leopold. And in those lines, neither is separately speaking. In fact, it's the voice of the whole book. They too, as John Donne said, being one are it. And they have achieved the fusion of angels of which Swedenborg dreamed. Molly says, as for them saying there's no God, I wouldn't give a snap of my two fingers for all their learning. Why don't they go and create something? I often asked him, atheists or whatever they call themselves, go and wash the cobbles off themselves first. Then they go howling for the priest and they dying. And why? Why? Because they're afraid of hell on account of their bad conscience. Ah, yes, I know them well. Who was the first person in the universe before there was anybody that made it all? Who? Ah, they don't know, neither do I. Like, yes, 16 years ago, my God, after that long kiss, I near lost my breath, yes. He said I was a flower of the mountain. Yes, we were all flowers, all a woman's body. Yes, that was one true thing he said in life. The sun shines for you today. Yes, that was why I liked him, because he saw or understood or felt what a woman is. And I knew I could always get around him. I gave him all the pleasure I could, leading him on till he asked me to say yes. Oh, and the sea and the sea crimson, sometimes like fire and the glorious sunsets and the fig trees in the Alameda gardens. Yes, and all the queer little streets and pink and blue and yellow houses and the rose gardens and the jessamine and the ger geraniums and the cactuses and Gibraltar as a girl where I was flower of the mountain. Yes, when I put the rose in my hair like the Andalusian girls or shall I wear a red? Yes, and how he kissed me under the Moorish wall. And I thought, well, as well him as another. And then I asked him with my eyes to ask again, yes, and then he asked me, would I say yes, to say yes, my mountain flower. And first I put my arms round him, yes, and drew him down to me so he could feel my breasts, all perfume, yes. And his heart was going like mad. And yes, I said, yes, I will, yes.